one of our downtown neighbors from Experience Jackson, Marketing and Development Manager, Rachel Buchanan. Hi, Rachel. Good Hi. morning. Big day today oh for Oh my gosh. EJ. It is. Big day all day into tonight. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. How are you keeping up with all of the uh, Halloween activities? Um, keeping my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping my eyes open and not much yes. rest, but so the witch walk. And th days. this was something that uh, you brought to town last year, mm -hmm. and it was a hit. Yeah. So it's coming back tonight. Tell us yeah. about it. Basically, we partnered with uh, downtown businesses. There are 22 participating businesses this year, and uh, what we do is we have people come downtown between the hours of five and eight. Of course, you can shop and enjoy. Some of them have special treats. Uh, the Blue Julep has the cutest little Halloween cookies that they're going to be selling tonight. Um, specials and different things. And Laura's already over there. I saw her car, yeah, so she's yeah. been here since she's ready to early. Go. We're going to stay up late tonight. But uh, between 5 and 8, uh, you can stop at those places. If you have the Experience Jackson app, you can go to our challenge. And once you get to the challenge, you can check in at least 10 of those locations by finding the which name, which is the promo code for that place, and submitting your little um, submission <laughs> to enter to awesome. win. And it's a, a huge gift basket. So all the 22 businesses have contributed items uh, to that basket. So there's gift certificates and products and it's just overflowing. So that'll be one part of the contest. And then at the end of the Witch Walk tonight at eight, uh, Grand River is sponsoring the after party and it will be there and not only uh, draw the winner for the app challenge for that big basket, but also a big winner for the costume contest uh -huh. that goes along with it. So. A lot of witch costumes, but as you can see in this picture last year, we had Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Friends and all, all kinds of people And you want people in costume, for sure. We absolutely, abs yeah, yeah. For sure. And it's their choice if they want to be a part of the contest. Everyone will have one vote when they get there, and you have to be present to win either of the prizes. Is that, so. that is a Winnie the Pooh suit, right? It is. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> and then it's the like, nun's checking her Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, is that allowed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll look into I think that. it's a yeah. real nun. No. No? That was not. No, it was <laughs> Halloween. I don't think so. It's hard to tell. I love yeah. uh, all these events because I love seeing so many people in our stores. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be it's got to be cool for the shop owners. Yeah, and there's some fun creativity with it. Some of some of the places where you go, you're actually going to look for a physical person mm. dressed as a witch. Oh. That is the one that's the holder of the name and the code. Um, for others, it'll be a poster, or a little statue, or some kind of figurine or something. So it'll be fun. It'll be good. What are you dressing as? Um, I, if you look at me today, um, maybe I could make some ears. I could be Minnie Mouse. There you go. I don't have the costume <laughs> with me today. I'm going to be running around okay. a little bit. But, but you probably have a couple costumes lined up for yes. the, uh, the duration well, we of the weekend. We were part of the Trunk or Treat yeah. at uh, Keeley Park the other cool. night. So Mirabelle, the costume yes. you asked about a couple weeks ago, it yeah. came together. Awesome. So in Kanto, it is. There were some uh, very cool costumes at that. Yeah. Um, I've been driving around, and I've noticed that the leaves are looking nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> the ones that are still on the trees. Yeah. You drive down Stonewall lately? Beautiful. You guys Gorgeous. have fall color tour maps mm -hmm. on the uh, website. Yeah, we have kind of a suggested route um, that you can go on. It's just experiencejackson.com slash fall. Um, if you're not familiar with the area, you can also just plot that right into your Google map to make it happen. And then um, we also created and curated a playlist of recommended songs this year. Oh, nice. Um, that are on there. So you can kind of pull up Spotify and... And there you go, some classics, and it might start off with a familiar uh, Johnny Cash song that might remind you of our well, community. Well, yeah, and one of the areas, uh, well, Jackson County really is such, it is, it, there's so many beautiful drives, mm -hmm. but you could drive to Concord, Almond Road, and go to Sweet Seasons Orchard. Yeah. Andy and Jennifer were just there, and after 40 years, Sweet Seasons, final year. Wow. Well, I'm glad I talk, got to talk to Nan out there. But yeah, go see, go see uh, them at the, the farmer's market. We were yep. just talking about the pumpkin prices. You can't beat those I anymore. Know. They're low. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Curtis Farms? <laughs> I got four, pump, four nice family pumpkins for 16 total dollars. You're telling me that's not low price? They're cheaper at Curtis Farms. I, was, I drove by Curtis Farms the other day, and it's amazing. They've got a whole, whole ton of yeah. pumpkins still in the field. Well, it's good there's a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah. That's good. And Faye at Steve's Ranch, she uses actual pumpkins, Jackson County pumpkins, to awesome. make pumpkin pies. Ooh. Very cool. Very nice. mm -hmm. um, you guys are all, all into Halloween. You guys have a uh, special page on your website mm -hmm. that is filled with uh, Halloween happenings, but also mm -hmm. uh, 
There's some, there's some haunt stories. Yes. <laughs> so at Experience Jackson, um, our, our colleague Jess has really gotten into that this year. And he's like, he's like what goes on at Ho in Jackson at Halloween? I haven't really paid attention the last few years. So he made it his mission this year, and he did, um, to find not only things to do, but also uh, places that may have some kind of haunt or interest. And so he's got three videos up there right cool. now. True Haunts of Jackson, I think he calls them. Nice. And they're, they're really fun to watch to kind of get the background of what might be lurking out there in the dark. You never know. Because time of year, we always think about Little Mary. Little Mary's Grave, mm -hmm. is that on the... Uh... That's not on the yeah. list, but we'll have to add it. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people are really into Scary. learning more about that. I think they moved it. So no, people no, 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 no. It was, you can't move a ghost. You can't move a ghost, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I think the property owner that lived maybe in front of the cemetery may have said that. Because mm. I don't think the property owner wanted people going through looking for the ghost of Little Mary. Yeah, mm. that's probably true. Well, let's put a map up. <laughs> I don't think there is. I don't, it's different every time you go. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... I kind of I kind of go on the other side of I'm I don't understand totally why people want to be scared on purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's fascinating. So there's some cool things here. Nice. To find that. Yeah, it's amazing. It's we were talking before the show. We think this is the busiest Halloween Jackson's ever seen. I think so. Has yeah. To be. It feels like it. Have yeah. you had uh, a hard time finding candy for some of these events? Some of the stores <laughs> are are low. We were at well, a trunk or treat a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Had to buy more. So. We went through seven bags um, the other night, and um, <laughs> luckily, Experience Jackson has tons of things to hand out that Good. I keep in the back of my car. Yeah. So yeah. some kids at the end got a really nice Jackson postcard. That's cool. <laughs> That's all right. You know, they so. probably got enough candy already. Yeah, they're they already cool. full bags, so we just added on top of it. Toothbrushes there. Uh, you oh. can't get candy. Mm -hmm. Toothbrushes. We ran out one year at my grandma's, and we were passing out barbecue sauce packets. <laughs> And VHS that's tapes. A, that's a no, we didn't do a VHS tape, but we asked if they wanted the VHS tape. We didn't know what was on it. Probably a rerun of Mad About You. <laughs> With the vest. Yes, for sure. You never know. That's the worst thing to do is run out of candy. Mm. It's, but you never know how many to expect. Mm -hmm. You have some years where you're like, oh, we only have 50 kids. And then this yeah. year, it's weather dependent. So you just mm. never know. Yeah. Do you get a lot of trick-or-treaters at your house? We, we do. We're a very busy neighborhood. So there may have been a couple times that my kids came back to unload their bags. Oh, and uh, no. I may have loaded it back into the candy bucket to give out. So I believe you are, you, are, you are close to, uh, there's a, the neighborhood that passes out full-size candy bars. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, mm -hmm. I think we'll give yeah. your, your address out. And actually, one, yeah, of, our, one of our <laughs> staff members is giving out full-size candy bars. Not just any, mm -hmm. full-size Caramello bars. Wow, they yeah. still make those. Whoa. They do, full size. And uh, I, I won't give that address out, I'd hate to do that, but. Um, One of those breaks loose in the bag, it, it kind of ruins all the other candy. If you if you come home with a full size caramello, you won on Halloween. I'm not gonna complain about that, but it does, yeah, when it's on the side of the wrapper, it's like yeah. sticky on the edge. Yeah. That's all right. It's fine, all right. just cut that thing off, we're good. Just look at it. I could go for a caramello <laughs> right now. I think that's the newest candy bar, probably, that's even been out. You know, I, it's a hard question. A lot of people ask that question this time of year. What's your favorite candy mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get at Halloween? And I said mounds. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're mounds. the mounds. I like mounds. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. taking the joy out of it. Well, that's I don't, a challenge. I know. It is dark chocolate. That's good, though. That's probably a little better. Yeah. I Mine like would the be Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, that's sure. a classic. Yeah. That's a classic. What mm -hmm. about you, Bart? Well, I like the mounds, but I make my own almond joy out of them because <laughs> the, the uh, almonds in the mounds are kind of, in an almond joy. They're kind of soft. So if you put your own almonds <laughs> in a mounds, you've got a perfect almond joy, and you control how many almonds. That's uh, true. Lead to your joy. The almond ratio that's, is, is that's important. Very good. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a happy Halloween. <laughs> I won't do that to, to create candy to pass out. It's just for personal consumption. Okay, good, good. Well, Rachel, thanks so much for uh, being here and all you're doing to uh, help the community celebrate Halloween. Looking forward yeah. to uh, photos from tonight's it's Witch fun. Walk, and people can just download the Experience Jackson app or mm -hmm. visit the EJ website. Yeah. Awesome. Rachel Buchanan with us on The Morning Show. We wrap up right after this quick break.